Donna Sachet here again in San Francisco. You know, Pride 2020 is really right around the corner now. And last time I promised you that I would give you 10 great ways to celebrate Pride. And I'm going to continue that list tonight. The first on that list was Pride Brunch. It's going to celebrate like never before. It's going to be an online event. We're taking it virtual. Gary Virginia and I will be on the air with you. We'll have the Grand Marshal speaking. All the details are available at prcsf.org. It will be a benefit for PRC, and it will be honoring the Grand Marshals and awardees from the Pride Parade. Now, I'm going to give you two additional ways tonight to celebrate Pride. The second one is, guess what? Up and down Market Street in San Francisco, I don't know if it happens anywhere else in the country, the gay Pride flags appear. That's right, on all the lampposts, that wonderful rainbow flag created by Gilbert Baker years ago up here, up and down Market Street, really the full length of the parade route. Now, we may not have a parade this year, unfortunately, but we're going to have those gay flags up and down Market Street. When they start going up, it gets so exciting. So the first week of June, begin to look for those flags up and down Market Street. What a great way to celebrate the LGBTQ community. Our third way tonight is another project that you may have seen, the Pink Triangle Project. On the top of Twin Peaks, which is one of the highest points in San Francisco, you may see every year, at the end of June, a pink triangle begin to appear. Somebody's behind that. Patrick Carney created that 25 years ago. He took the reclaimed pink triangle that had such a bad history to it and has become a symbol, a proud symbol, of the LGBTQ community. He, puts, he has a group of friends that get big tarps of pink fabric and put it on top of that peak and that formed in the form of a triangle, a pink triangle, and you can see it from miles away, especially down Market Street. You can see it from the Embarcadero, down Market Street, all the way to the Castro and up on Twin Peaks, a pink triangle. It's a great, great inspiring uh, symbol. Now, it's only been lit a couple of times. This year, it will be lit if you help us out. There's a project going on. The same people who uh, were behind the lighting of the Bay Bridge, Illuminate, the same people who were behind that great project in the Castro that lit up the parts of the Harvey Milk Plaza, including the letters that say, hope will never be silent. Those people are planning to light the pink triangle on top of Twin Peaks. That's right, with LED lights, it's gonna be great. It'll be unveiled the Saturday Night of Pride, that's uh, June 27th, and there's a project, then you can help support it because it's gonna cost money. You can help support it by going to their website. That would be lightthepinktriangle.com. Org. And if you go to that site, you'll see all the details. It's a wonderful idea and it, it's going to inspire all of us. So there, I wanted to give you those first three and I will continue the list in the next couple of weeks. There are wonderful ways to celebrate Pride 2020. This is Donna Sachet. Thank you. Mm -hmm.